Hello Hams fans, James Collins here. We're at the lovely Shire Golf Club in London to take on a West Ham Golf Challenge. We're going to be trying to beat a score set by West Ham lifelong fan and golf pro James Wood. So let's see how we got on. You've set up a little three hole challenge for us today at the Shire Golf Club here. Um, what have you got in store for us? So we're going to play the first three holes. So the first hole is par three over water. Dangerous start. And you've got the par four and the par five coming home. Playing the first three holes, see how we get on. What are you thinking your score's going to be? I'm hoping I get under par. Under par, yeah. I'll take level par. I've got a chance of beating you at level par. Under par, I think I'm struggling. Straight at it. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Is that a smooth eight, yeah? Oh, here we go. <laughs> He's holding. <laughs> 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 Didn't say that part, didn't you? <laughs> Jesus, that's carried 300 yards. Well, Next ambition so oh, far. Okay. Stop dead. Take that. Oh, I got that. Oh, hit it. Oh, it's got to hit it. Nearly. Jumped on you, didn't Take it? it. One under through two, the boy. It's a long way. It is. Not sure you get to the wall with that. Uh, left. Do you see it left? Yeah, it's left. Sharp, sharp. Brilliant. Not bad. Oh, he bombed it. Back of the hole. Two under through three. Two under through three. Wallop. Hi, everyone. We've got a three hole challenge. First hole, par three, 147 yards over water. Quite a tough start. Then you've got a par four and a par five. I played the three holes earlier. I shot two under par. Over to you to try and have a chance of beating me. Good luck. How are you feeling? Two under. Tough score to beat. Tough score, yeah. A little bit nervous, not going to lie. Uh, used to playing in front of a lot of people, football, obviously. But um, yeah, two people here for golf. Uh, yeah, it's a tough one. Like a smooth. Look at that. I've got to go a bit. Holding the finish. Sit. Oh, sharp. Sharp. Take that, thank you. That was very smooth, mate. Ah, oh, it's fady. And long again. I've got a monster putt. It's on the dance floor, but no one in the music. A slappy. Oh, water. It's got a goal. It's got a goal. Oh, it's oh, plugged in the bank. In the bank. It's what? Plugged, Plugged in, the, in bank. the bank. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Such a bad strike. That foot and half right, I think. Good help. Top. Settle. Helps if you Got don't go, hit the Ginge. floor, doesn't it? Got to go. Tell you what's got a chance. Let's do it, gimmies. Yeah, that's good enough. What? We need a lot of gimmies to beat two under, mate. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? I'm thinking about saying good So James, obviously a big golf fan. Yeah. Been playing since a kid, or get yeah, pretty much like like most people is um, just down the pitch and part with my dad and my brother most weekends when football wasn't around and um, yeah, just hitting a few balls and kind of got into it from there really. Yeah. Do you uh, get much time to play? I know the Premier League's a bit mental and European games. Are you getting out much? No, to be fair, not not during the winter. I'm not a, not a winter golfer anyway. But um, yeah, so many games and that you don't really get much time. And when you do have time off, you just want to sort of relax really and not do anything. So um, yeah, I'll be out in the summer for sure. So we're out 
promoting the uh, the foundation. Yeah. A big part of West Ham, obviously, in our family club. Yeah. Do a lot in the community. Is it something you and the squad know about and get involved in and go out into the community and help and stuff like that? Yeah, often uh, throughout the year we get the opportunity to go out and sort of be involved with the great work that they do. And, um, you know, I think a football club is kind of the hub for a lot of people and a lot of families and uh, brings people a lot of joy. And, um, you know, it's great to to play our part in helping those people, um, you know, whether they're going through difficult times or anything, it's, uh, it's good for us to, to help out. Do you see anything in your free kit, your sort of setup, anything that, that you take into your golf? Probably just the routine. I think I'm very sort of meticulous with like routines and the sort of same feelings. And I think golfers do the same with their shots. And that's something that I've tried to sort of implement into golf. I just can't hit the ball straight. But uh, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. But um, yeah, a few similarities, yeah. Obviously on the golf course, mate, got to talk to you about the celebration. Mm. Yeah, no, it was for a few reasons, but mainly because of my little boy. Um, I think we were playing a game during lockdown at the time and all, obviously all we could do at home was obviously be in the garden and, uh, and, and play with the kids. And uh, yeah, my little one got into golf and loved it. And, I did it and since then he's asked me to do it every, every time I score, so um, yeah, I'd say it's for him really, yeah. That's the line. That is the line. Yeah, that'd be good. That's very good. Yeah, yeah really good. You're after it, aren't you? Three wood, that one, Stan. Three wood. Uh, Done the same thing as earlier. It's not, it's not carrying, is it? I think so, mate. You'd be really excited when you hear that, wouldn't you? It looks like it's got to go left to right, doesn't it? Oh, it's pacey. Can I give it a go? Bad. Central, these greens. That's good enough. Oh, yeah, that's we don't want to watch you miss it. Birdie James. No, I need to eagle oh, the third. Oh, something. Where you got that, James? Push. I did think it went four, that way. Four though. Solid. Huh? Easy four. Not that high. Oh, I oh, tell you what. <laughs> it is that high. <laughs> Taking some money off you soon. I think you will be. Lifelong West Ham fan. Yep. How did it come about? You became a West Ham fan. Oh, uh, my dad grew up in East London, so naturally, just fell into it. Um, first game I went to was Villa, nil nil, and, and until my 18th birthday, I thought we won one nil. Yeah. <laughs> we had a goal disallowed for offside, and I went mental. And then my dad on my, on my birthday, he said, um, "Got a little secret to tell you, son. Your first game was actually nil nil, not one nil." Sorry. <laughs> you tried to try to jazz it up a bit. Yeah, no, absolutely. Conference League final. Talk us through it. Um, so I actually flew to Cos the day before with my wife on our honeymoon, and we landed at eight o'clock at night. Eight o'clock the following morning, I flew from Cos straight to <laughs> Prague. Did she know this was happening before? Uh, Did you just spring it on her when you was out there. No, no, she, she knew it was coming, but it took a, quite a bit of convincing, but got the green light once I got the ticket, and um, she actually paid for my ticket for the flight, so... That really? Was, that was our honeymoon. Oh, you've got it right, and yeah. That was my present from her. Um, but yeah, no, so I went to the final, and then stayed up all night at the airport buying memorabilia on the website, and flew back at four o'clock in the morning from Prague to Coz, and then joined my wife and my kids for breakfast at eight o'clock in the morning at the hotel, and then spent the whole day wearing a West Ham shirt. Absolutely buzzing. Absolutely steaming as well. Oh. <laughs> no, I was, on, I was on good behaviour. And I had one, one rule that she gave me. I couldn't wear anything claret and blue, but I snuck a shirt in on my hand luggage and God, got it on. What a way to start the, the, the marriage, eh? It was unbelievable. 
What's your, um, what would be your finest moment? Apart from obviously being in, being in Prague for the final, what's your, your, your greatest memory it's, of being a West Ham fan? It's got to be Pyatt's free kick at Old Trafford in the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, took my, yeah, took my dad up for his birthday and we went and uh, I actually got a video on my phone, you could you could see it, as soon as he hit it, it was straight in, he was celebrating, it was awesome. It? He must have been about 35 yards out that free kick. Yeah, no, it's top draw. That could be a four. I reckon that's, that's short. short. That's short with a drink. Oh, no. Go. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> we had another duck. Oh, had another one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I just slept if I hit him. Go. Go. Hey, well, that's not bad. Oh, it's flashed. Nah, it's always been, Very yeah, I knew it was going there. With me. I knew it was going there before I hit it. Yeah, yeah on the green. Yeah. Got that. Short. Up hill left to right. Tell you what, that's a shot. Go in. Go, on. Go in. Oh, oh it's He's only got you are buzzing with that, isn't you? <laughs> Take that. Shot that is, by the way. Thank you. Privacy, that's unreal, mate. Ah. James called it as soon as you hit it, by the way. Lockdown chip in that. Yeah, in the garden. Oh, it just caught the fringe a bit too long, didn't it? I was expecting to see the old. <laughs> I should that's have done horrible, it. that. It's not going to go anywhere near it. <laughs> Yes, it will. Yeah. Come on, engine jack. Give it a go. Get in the hole. Oh, Ooh. Close, in, but mate. no cigar. That's good. It's for birdie. There's still a meat on that as well. <laughs> Should have given me the first one. <laughs> no, we'll take that one out. Oh. That almost missed and all. Oh. <laughs> so, just finished the three hole challenge. Tough day, I think we'll all agree. A bit windy. James has won it, two under through three holes. Thank you, boys. Enjoyed your company. Like I said, golf wasn't great. All for a good cause. Obviously, the foundation, West Ham Foundation. Golf day on 13th of May. Me and Matty Everton will be there and, and hopefully see you all there.